that should work out perfectly. Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how to make this rocket stove out of just a couple of tin cans. These things are a lot easier to make than you might think. I just did it in like two or three hours. Just keep going around like that. Okay, there's the start of it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, just taking a little pair of pliers like this, just grab in between the sections and pull together. That'll break it open. That should leave you with something like that. Now you just pop this out. Like that. It just pops right out. Be careful, the edges are going to be sharp. Okay, now that we've got the circle cut out, there's going to be little sharp edges. Just take the edge of the tool or a screwdriver or something and bend it over. It's not that thick of a metal, these cans, so you should be able to just bend those edges over and in like that. Do this a little bit. Check for the size of the can and just kind of keep opening up the circle until that fits nice and snug. like that. Oh man, that is so close. There it is. Got it. Of course I have to cut the end out there. And that's a real tight fit. I wanted to do that nice and slow to make sure that fit. Okay, now that we've got the outer shell done here, I'm going to start with the inner part. So I'm going to use a can like this. It's just a Hunt's tomato sauce can. And I'm going to put it in there like that. So to do that, and to get this to line up, you're going to want to cut like an arching cut right there. So let's go ahead and do that. The hardest part on this one, honestly, is just getting started. Once you get by the lip, it goes pretty fast. Now just do the same thing over a little bit. Okay, that's the cut right there. So now just bend that up. You can just bend that up. It's pretty easy to bend that with your fingers here. Drop it right in like this. It'll lay right on there. It'll hold it right to the, right to the top so these are both level or flush. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add the sand to this. Sand and gravel. Okay, now let's just fill it up around the edges. I'm going to alternate gravel and sand. Okay, that is pretty much it. Now you just clean out any residual sand and gravel that got in the inlet here. Okay, I'm just getting this thing fired up here. There it is.
working great. Burning nice and steady now. I mean, the stove's, this stove's been running for 10 or 15 minutes, and the sides of the can are barely even warm, so the sand and the gravel work great as an insulator. One grilled cheese, cooked on a rocket stove, five to 10 minutes. Look at all those coals. Okay, there's a shot of it really stuffed full of twigs and stuff. Maximum cooking power. And again, the sides of it are getting hot after like 20 minutes, but not bad. Not as bad as you'd think with all that fire. So these are really easy to make. It just takes the three cans. I used a Campbell soup can a Hunt spaghetti sauce can, and then the body of the stove, the largest can, is just a paint can. Those three things, plus the little grate to hold the uh, pans above the flame. That's just a standard one from a gas stove, but you can use a lot of things to prop that up. And the sand and gravel on the inside. When you're done, you can throw the lid on and even cap it off right here. That's the bottom of a 24-ounce beer can.